Hi guys, welcome back to Automobilian channel, a play where we share knowledge and experience in the automotive engineering industry. Throughout many years of work, we hope the video we share helpful for you. Continuing our series on how to use workshop equipment or software online reference tool. Today, we will build you using the Autodata. Don't forget like and subscribe the channel. Let's get started. Autodata has been widely used by automotive technicians in previous years as an offline software with versions such as 3.4, 3.42 and the latest 3.45. These offline versions of Autodata were very simple, lightweight and easy to install. Nowadays, Autodata has been moved online. With Autodata online, we can use it much more conveniently. Autodata provides us with a wealth of useful information, helping technicians, workshop owners, and service advisors access fairly complete details about maintenance, repairs, or quickly look up technical specifications of a vehicle. In this video, I will guide you step by step on how to use the software on the online platform. Let's get started. Here is the main interface of the Autodata online software. First, select a car. When selecting drive, please note that the Autodata software has many brands. The black areas indicate the brands we have previously researched. The black color helps us access easily. Autodata has a good range of Asian car models, but the data for each model isn't as complete as Vondata or Mitchell Pro. Still, I find this software satisfactory. It's lightweight and great for quick lookups, making it convenient for maintenance and repairs. For instance, regarding BMW, what do we have? Here we have a full range of series cars, with the latest being Series 1 from 2011 to 2019, and Series 1 after 2019 is quite new. Models up to 2021 are included, like Series 2. You can observe the suite opening and closing, with the production years of Series 4 ranging from 2014 to 2020. And here is Model F33. In Vietnam, we often encounter various series lines. Model 5 H34, various 39, and the most recent ones are typically the series lines. F90 is 27, then moving to G30, 31, G30, 31, or Series 5. The models used externally include F10, F11 from the year 2010 up to 2017. The data for these car lines is quite recent, X1, and 2022 as well. Here is the Isuzu line. Isuzu has very little documentation. We have the Demac lines, U Demac, Demac Double, an old line. Kia. Kia now needs to be more online. Kia also has several cars. Electric cars. 2022 Model Vive 79 Sorento. Okay, let's try Peugeot. Peugeot is a brand employs numerous models. From 2008 until 2021. Of electric vehicle lines. Okay, I will specifically demonstrate one line with you. I will choose Kia and the Sorento model. You can search by name here, the car brand and the model name. Sorento, taking the 2015 to 2020 line. After selecting the car line, it will always be displayed. The new interface. On this interface, first pay attention to the quit. Link quit. This refers to the quick search link. Regarding oil, it relates to everything concerning engine oil or the maintenance process of the components or the upkeep of the AC system or the maintenance table or a cam diagram or some display features. The service maintenance report indicates that these are quick reference links you can click on directly. Here is the vehicle information and the next crucial part is the content details. The technical information section here offers us six key columns. The first column relates to maintenance service issues including maintenance schedules and visual aids regarding maintenance or service points or some warning lights for maintenance or specific maintenance for the brake system engine oil, transmission fluid, a C system, 
and all general maintenance information covering all issues related to maintenance. The software will provide us with the oil quantity, the type of oil, and the removal and installation process. Alternatively, it could be a maintenance process. All relevant information will be contained within this maintenance topic. Additionally, there will be information concerning the recovery issue. The engine issue is the primary concern. Here we will address the management of the engine. Engine management provides us with electrical diagrams or relevant information. The sensors pertain to electrical matters. Additionally, there are diagrams for installation. Info on installation diagrams. Super convenient. This is very convenient for the AI that locks the machine. I can check it very quickly. The third is about what diagram walkway straps. The Kura Kaharu. Kura. Total Kura is a way to change Kura strings. It will bring us out on information and visual images. and some of the cars in terms of engines, diesel fuel. It could be useful information. In the matter is DPF means waste gas treatment in diesel fuel. To the third part is chassis parts related to the chassis, especially the problem of tires and the corners of the wheels. Then the software gives us the standard parameters. All of these, this is the company's standard. Then the software came together and gave it to us. Well, the problem is that all the information that's in there, wheel or a tire pressure problem. How does the tire pressure setting process, or it's a process, dot tire pressure sensor replacement, and then there's the parking brake, electric parking brake, or the handbrake adjustment process parking brake, or there are cars that have buttons open. Unlock the parking brake when the battery is out, then the software will also guide us through the process. That's next. Tell us when to change the sensor. How does tire pressure need to be applied? If there's tire pressure, tire pressure sensor instead that just runs on the road that automated software on the car will get the value of the new tire pressure sensor, the software also guide for us. Or the software will show us how. It could be said that you have to use a transducer, for example. The software also gives us a way. Projects to handle. And the last part is the tire. Well, all the tire size information and then the tire tightening tire pressure all information related to the system. The fourth part is the body and interior and interior parts. It's related to the airbag system and the key system. Well, with the cars, there are key systems that require installation. If we do it by hand, the software will give us process install more keys or remove keys. The software also gives us the content of the process of doing that. And what's in the airbag system? To be safe. The software also warns us, or the one with the key. Software can be manual for us instructions for using a key. That is, give the instructions for use above. A key push buttons and function keys on the key. Or use the keys. Built in on key. Let it be fully exploited. All the information. That's the use of the car keys. It can also be the software that gives us one. Key battery replacement process. This is very useful information for us. To the part, the fifth part is electric. Then the whole, this part is about the system. Electricity comes from batteries. That's the electrical schematics, the diagnostic error codes. That is, they integrate the part. Look up the diagnostic error code in this electrical part. And then there's the data portion of these. The leg on the boxes is the engine box. So this is the really important part, which I find extremely helpful. We check the car's sensor signals. The next car engines are the preliminary ones, of the clusters of parts or the details in the engine compartment, or in the car, some of the assemblies in the car. This part is also very good for us to find. The location, in the boom section. The replacement is the part that replaces the light bulbs, then they guide us in the way. To make that replaces the light bulbs or it can be replaced, that's the headlight. Me, give us a rough idea of how to change a light bulb. Next is the fuse and the relay. The software will tell us that full of them. Fuse function of the fuse and that fuse is what type of A is used for. The system and what's important. The positions of the fuse boards in the car outside to do. For us can be quick look up the fuse board position or the judgment is that the fuse is on fire. 
Then we can find what that fuse board that we can replace. And the last part is, the parts where general information, all the specifications of the car. It will give you a specific table. It's technical special. Next is support for service advisors or factory owners. Calculation of working time. There's also a repair timeline. Next is some of the knowledge about repairs and company warnings. It's also integrated by software. Novice and Bullentai. In addition, this software is very good, and there are some. The equipment is to give us information about the machine number bracket positions. Those are the ones who want to both look up the position of the machine number frame so that I can be more accurate. The car without the owner's license plate. I have to go. Where to find the frame number? That or that AI wants to get the number of the frame number to make paper or for sale. This is a place where an information extremely helpful. Well, this information is often, it's really important when you need it. This software is also for us. You know that information. And then there's some of those, the meaning of the warning lights and the signs, something about the car. And now I've got a preliminary introduction. I'll show you all the details. Utility of the software, use of the software and its functions of the software. With this software, this is a very good software. It is lightweight and the service advisor can also be used. Check the maintenance time. Well, that maintenance cycle is the information about amount of the type of the, the kind of oil that's a replacement or a replacement paste are the forces that squeeze the moment into the cam position or the information about them. Schematic belt, as well as information about them. Technical parameters. All of these are the ones the standard parameter, but in the process, the worker that works. If they get these parameters, they do. At least first, they're doing it right, and then they know how to do enough. And from this information, it's them. You will avoid all the risks. After which, the process of inspection and replacement installation. It helps that the car is much safer. I'll be specific. Some of the content in the software. For example, the first time I used the function. Engine oil search with engine oil. What you see is the amount of oil poured. Let this car be 6.3 liters. There and there filter with filter. And they give out the squeezing force of the oil navel. Or the squeezing force of the oil filter. Or the squeezing force of the oil filter. And on the right, we'll see the oils. What kind of oil is on this car? It depends on the ambient temperature. The climate will use different types of oil. And especially those oil standards. This standard is the American Standards Association and American Oil or the American Mechanical Association uses these. This oil standard and this oil standard will be related to emissions. DPF we see is right engine oil. Engine oil is a secretion that cannot be called while in the process of maintenance we can. It works because with oil. It's very small, but it's affecting too much. Oil is to ensure that the motor is working longer life. It's called more power efficiency. Keep it for the details. Work is right, according to the technical standard, but oil has to be changed periodically. Keep for long life, the engine as well as the working process. Get the highest performance. We have to know the standard parameters. Let's make it right. I'm simply, for example, also a paragraph. The engine, if you pour more oil, knew immediately that it was, that's the engine, it'll go. Weakness should be the head. Pour the right kind of motor, pour the right A. The density of the oil that has the right dilution, the machine will escape. Then the oil. You should also know that the quality of the oil is with how many kilometers it uses, or how long it takes. That's what we call it. Find the next replacement cycle. Let it fit. It's with oil. It's also a very useful piece of information. Go back to the main screen and you'll click on it. Technical info. Then, for example, the brake maintenance. What do we get? And you can open the box. With the brakes, they... The software given to us is the standard of the brake head is dot third four. Here's all the squeezing forces. The squeezing force of the screw is then the squeezing force of the sensors. The tightening force of the brake shackles. Give us a standard squeeze. Then the ones. Parameters of brake discs. These are the thickness. The thickness of the disc well. This information we see. That is processor service in the process of maintenance. And we measure. See the information. Parameters that are different even with these standard parameters. It's definitely. Those details have to be replaced. And here it's going to take all the directions. It's about replacing the brake pads, right? Brake pads. Then there's the way we adjust the handbrake. Adjustable brake sleeve. And this is the location. It's in the brake system. I can check it. Is the brake thickness. The squeezing force is the brake fluid. It's a process. Brake adjustment. 
parking brake hand. There is also an air conditioning system. Here, I'll go to the orange section. Here's a profile.cam diagram. So overall, here's what the software has given us. All the signs. Or, it's a process. We're going to open all of this is Purabel to lead total process cam here. Here are the steps. Turn the engine to the dead spot. Machine number one is done, just like sign number two. Like sign number two, the gears. So these are the orange steps in turn. Who used it? Autodata found this software very useful. This orange scheme they redrew and they gave. It's a process full of steps into the software to guide us. The squeezing force and then the steps so that we can set cam. The software provides all the information. For us, you just need two steps so that you can get an orange diagram. Come out to you. You see, this software is fast and fast. What it means is, you access the car selector then and into the orange diagram that we could have. The service indicator is one of them. Warning about the maintenance process. Then this is, there are ways that we can reset maintenance. Use the buttons on the steering wheel cases that we don't use. Diagnostic equipment or, there are cars. The request is a manual reset. We have to reset it manually. On the clock tools. Clapboard or steering wheel. So if you want to do the steering wheel, this is a process. Reset it a lot of cars. And they're all now equipped with systems. A warning about this service. Then the process that installs or reset this is, there's a standard process. Because the part. This software gives us all the information. It helps the worker after that. The maintenance is to be able to reset the time. To warn up. For the next maintenance, many. Workers or many factories, I don't know how either. If you do this, is the car. I can't use all the functions. It's a very functional, this convenience I don't, at least as such. I will take the steps that I record the kilometers on the dashboard. If it is our factory, it can remind customers. Sometimes customers don't even notice. They only see. What are the warning lights? Unusual on the dashboard. They might as well go check it out. So with these functions, if I could have been when I used the car, I know how to use the functions. This new one is to help the process of driving. Just safe. Help called his maintenance processes right and enough times. Those are the parts that are preliminary. The fast part is the same here. Over here if I, the engine oil is the same as the engine oil above. Just this quick part. Let's try to see some of them. What's good about this service, for example? On the other hand, here's what you'll see. Here's what the location is of gas feed line, high pressure, low pressure, then Pura belt, total outweigh, wiring, Kurai. And here's how, how to remove the filler casings to get the wind filter conditioning. All of these images are visual to serve the worker. This is the area where we found the standard sprinkler. These are the oil discharge positions. That's the oil and the squeezing force. How do you check the oil house? Here the oil check navel is tightened, very detailed. And they've come up with these visualizations. Go back to engine oil to see if you got the right one. Not even the original information. Engine oil is a fast ending. That's right. The first part is the part service for the maintenance process. That's a lot of useful information. Good for you. Next we go to the part that the engine power. We get the information from the engine management. In the next video, we will introduce how to look up the powertrain, chassis, body and interior electrical modules, as well as the car's VIN number. Stay tuned for this upcoming video next Saturday.